Okay, Sarah, would you just like to start by introducing yourself? So my name is Sarah Welsh and I'm a Paralympic long jumper and university student. Awesome. And would you just like to start by explaining what your disability is and how it affects you? So I was born with a condition called fibula hemimilia, which essentially means that when I was born, I was missing one bone below my knee. I was born with a small foot. So my parents made the decision to have my foot amputated when I was just 18 months old and I've worn a prosthetic leg ever since then. Oh, awesome. Um, and what has growing up with a disability been like for you? My parents making the decision to amputate my foot was probably the best thing they ever could have done. It's led me to have so many amazing opportunities to be able to represent my country at Paralympics and World Championships, but it's also left me feeling that maybe sometimes people underestimated what I could actually do just because of the fact that I had one leg. Yeah, okay, so even competing in a Paralympics, people still <laughs> believe that you're incapable and they just see the disability. Um, and what are some of the stereotypes that you think are actually associated to people with a disability? Definitely the fact that people underestimate people with a disability. They just see the disability and they think that because they're disabled, they can't do anything just like anyone else would. Okay. And why and how do you believe these stereotypes have been formed? The media plays a really big part in the stereotypes that have been formed around people with a disability. And I think a lot of individuals have made up their mind pretty early about what people with a disability are capable of doing. Sometimes you see really severe disabilities of people who aren't really capable of doing things. But for the most part, most people with a disability are quite capable of doing a lot of things. Yeah, so you just kind of group them into a hole. <laughs> them inspirational. A few weeks ago, I was just doing my grocery shopping at the shops and a lady came up to me crying saying how inspirational I was for getting up in the morning and pushing my shopping trolley around the shops and just doing what I had to do to get my food. And for me, that's not inspirational at all. Like I have to do my grocery shopping to be able to eat food. And so that's not something that I should be commended on. It should be something that everyone has to do and no one should make, be made feel uncomfortable when they're in the shopping center by an old woman coming up and crying to them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well. Um, and what do you think can be done to change these negative societal views? I think the media needs to change their opinion of people with a disability and everyone needs to be able to form their own opinion without being influenced by the media and other factors. It definitely sounds like people need to treat each individual case of disability differently, I guess, rather than just grouping everyone as a whole. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for talking to me today. Hopefully that's kind of provided people with a bit of understanding about the stereotypes associated to disability and how you can kind of move forward in life and all be inclusive. Sounds good. Thank you.